Yo, what up, what up, Dave? Hey, Latonya, how you doing? Hope y'all doing good today. Got a special cigar I'm going to be smoking and reviewing. Gary, what's going on, brother? Going to jot down a couple of notes real quick. All right, so um, Pete, what's going on, man? I'll tell you the same thing here. I'm doing the same thing, working and trying to maintain. Work is, they are uh, trying to kill me at the fire station. Big E, what's going on, player? All right, so for everybody that's in the chat right now, we got Dave Ember. <clears throat> He's over marketing over at CigarClub.com. They just released their uh, first ever Cigar Club custom collab <clears throat> or collaboration with HBC Cigars. So that's what I'm going to be smoking and reviewing today. It actually went live today. So um, they did a thousand cigars for their members. They did a, a total run of fifteen hundred cigars. So they did a thousand that they put in the boxes for people that are members. And then they have five hundred that they are allowing to uh, sell in five packs in the store. So what I'm going to be doing, I'll be reviewing the cigar today and letting you guys know what I think. Alfonso, what's going on, man? Good morning. Miska, what's going on, brother? So, uh, yeah, that's that's what we're going to be doing. This will just be a, a cigar review for that. You guys know we got a lot of stuff planned. Um, got the championship matchup for Cigar Madness dropping at dropping Saturday at 6 o'clock Central Standard Time. Uh, me and Lee Mac just set our collaboration for our video that's coming out Monday on Memorial Day. Uh, that video will – that my part – there's a two-part video on that. The first part will be airing at noon Central Standard Time and Central Standard Time and his uh, part will be coming on at 1230 Central Standard Time. So you guys will have to adjust accordingly for uh, if you're living on the East Coast or West Coast with all it. Shy Shy, what's up, player? All right. So we'll uh, we'll go ahead and get into it. Uh, Dave is in Dave is in the chat. Like I was saying, Dave Ember, if you guys are seeing him, he's with Cigar Club. So if you got any questions about the cigar or uh, any, anything like that, any of your questions, he's in there to answer the, the, uh, the chat. So we got a cigar that's probably, uh, I used to be more of a Lancero fan, but I think I was talking to somebody earlier this week. Um, the Super Corona, the Corona Gorda is starting, or probably my favorite size cigar now. This one is a five and three fourths by 48. So this is about perfect size for me. It's got a closed foot on it. I got two of them. I'll show you guys here. A little different, but you get the point. There's closed feet, a nice, nice triple cap on it. Just kind of a light paper bag kind of look to it. Nice band, nice classic HVC bands. You see the white kind of not showing it well on the camera, but the but the white cigar club band is pretty nice on this one too. Got like some spice on this, a little bit of a spice on that nose. Little peppers coming off there too. Matt, what's going on, man? All right. So, Dave, if you want to put the uh, uh, go ahead and put let the let everybody know the price point on the five packs. If you can drop that information in there, or drop or if you want to go ahead and put the link in there too for people. Uh, that way, after I get done reviewing this cigar, if it sounds like something that you guys would be interested in, it'll be there for you. Hey man, that's a good thing, man. I need to I need to be getting back in the gym too. I done lost a lot of size, man. All right, we we'll cut this up. I'll let you guys see the cap, the top of the cap. It shows up. Oh well, that's gonna show. But it's got a nice, nice triple cap on it. You guys know I'm a huge HBC fan, so this is a uh, collaboration I'm very excited about. Good draw. And some brown sugar, like a light cinnamon and a pepper on that cold draw.
Yeah, I'm excited too, Dave. I haven't I haven't eaten or uh, haven't eaten anything and just been drinking mineral water. So I'm trying to make sure my palate is pretty clean. Yeah, it, that's the good thing about that too, though, Matt. Uh, when you when you even when you've been lifting for a long time and you stop and you start back, it's easy. It's kind of it, it's a lot easier to put it back on when you've already had the, the uh, foundation built. I told you guys before too about the closed feet. Make sure you light it away from you because sometimes the tobacco will dry. It'll it'll be dry and it'll fall on you. Last thing you want is to uh, have some dried tobacco burning holes in your clothes. Very good black pepper hit on that, waking them sinuses up on that retro hill. I'm gonna probably get a black pepper, probably a good eight out of ten right now. Get some cinnamon, little little oak wood on that too. Anything have a chance to be in the? <laughs> you gonna have to wait and see, man. Yeah, right now, uh, let me see. Yeah, getting some oak wood, cinnamon, light cinnamon, very faint, uh, very faint brown sugar. Not enough to, not enough for me to even call it a cigar sweet, but it's there. Man, I'm the same way, man. My left shoulder is not not what it was. Uh, not it's, it still hadn't really healed fully a hundred percent. I was pressing a little bit too fast through bench pressing, and my form probably wasn't what it uh what it should have been, man. And and you know too, man, when you when you're rushing and not lifting how you should be, your body's gonna pay for it. So, alphabet, what's going on, man? Pretty good so far. So uh, Dave is a really big HBC fan like me too, obviously with him doing the collaboration with Rainier over at HBC Cigar. So when he was telling me about it, I got really excited because that was at the time that I was I was starting to really get into my HBC kick. And uh, you guys know, I feel like Agnos is putting out really some of the best, the, man, some of the best tobacco out right now. Um, not only that, man, a lot of people don't realize how much or how many people buy from Agnos. So in Nicaragua, you, your two main growers are Aganorsa and Placencia. So, you, I mean, people like Drew Estate, there's a lot of people that buy tobacco from Aganorsa. And um, a lot of people will ask, how does thing, how do things taste differently if they're, if they're from the same farm? And it just all depends on how they ferment and how they process the tobacco. Me and you could buy bales that's the same next to each other. I take it where I take it to and you, and we do different things. It could come out completely different. So. Yeah, Pete. So far, this is really it's got a really it's a it's it's really uh not I'm not gonna say strong, but the uh, flavors are nice and intense, like how I like it. Good black pepper on it right now. That light brown sugar is still there on that finish, and I'm getting a little bit of a light cinnamon. I wouldn't say right now this is an overly uh, it doesn't have like a really sweet tobacco core, but it's very nice. You could just you could definitely tell this is Nicaragua. Man, that's pretty good, man. I, I, I didn't, I, you know, I never really was a huge, uh, I didn't, I didn't get into weights when I was really younger and stuff. I didn't, I didn't really start lifting weights until a couple years ago. So, uh, before my, before my workout buddy got hurt really bad, man, he ended up getting pensioned off the job, but, um, I was, I was floating around 350, but I mean, I had only been lifting for about a year I was progressing pretty fast on bench, but that was just a goal of mine. I wanted to try to get to 400, but who knows? I, um, uh, you know how stuff stuff happens and things change. So, damn, what is that? That's retro hell. The retro hell on this is really really nice. No, but what's going on, man? First, the box of HBC five hundred on your recommendation. Glad I did because everywhere else is 
everywhere is sold out now. Are they sold out? That's damn, that's crazy. That's a great cigar though. Um, uh, I might even smoke one of those later tonight, man. I, I I do like that cigar a lot. That's that's probably still in my top three right now. I did a limited amount, I was able to get prime tobaccos. Quantity wasn't or yeah, it wasn't an issue. Top shelf double Corojo Jalapa. So you got that's why I said so Dave, Dave actually can tell you uh because they you know that you aren't gonna be able to find any information on this in the internet. Like Dave had his hands and was working with uh Rainier Lorenzo, the owner of HVC hand to hand, so he could tell you exactly what was in the uh in the blend and uh you know the the, the process about what was uh going on in Pickett. I wish there was a way, Dave, that man, I'm gonna have to get StreamYard or something to uh maybe in the future for us to do like a a live chat that's not on Instagram or something like that. So to uh so you'll be able to sit here and be able to talk and tell people more about it too. Yeah, man, I, you know, I'm just going to have to get back into it and, and just work through slow. And uh, yeah, um, I'm going to be honest, man. Honestly, if I get back to the size I want to get to, I probably get there and start working out more with ba uh, uh, dumbbells and bands and stuff like that, man. I, I'm not I'm not. A, I mean, you guys know I'm not an old guy, but at the same time, I, you know, uh, I don't want to be walking around at 50 or 60 like all, all banged up. Preacher, what's going on, man? Uh, you guys have already heard me speak about him. If you're not following Smoking Preacher, make sure you guys do, man. He's a uh, really nice guy, man. And a uh, lot of interesting stuff about Preacher, man. Uh, me and Latanya know we we wa we watch Preacher a lot, man. He uh he sent me some honey, man. It's probably still some of the best honey I think I've ever had, man. He, he sent me some honey, so I sent him over some some or some cigars to show some gratitude for him, man. And uh, got a great great cigar channel, man. Pumped out a lot of content. He's just a, a really solid guy. Hey, David, what's going on? Starting to get a little cedar now. Smoke output, you guys can see uh, very, the draw on this thing is, is very good. And smoke out, smoke output is, is really good. Not having to take hard draw to get any smoke at all. Uh, cedar, cedar is picking up. Slight creaminess. Uh man, right now, right now at the gate, man, I'm gonna go flavors of flavors of good medium going to medium full so far already in the first first half inch. What question was that, David? Yeah, Kent, so far this is really good. Uh not no, you guys know how I am. If it's if it's not gonna be good or if it's not tasting good, I'm gonna let you guys know. But very good black pepper on this. This is a cigar. Um, if you're not used to retrohaling at all, this is probably not the cigar I will say recommend to start retrohaling. It's good, good pepper on this. Very good pepper. Black pepper. Yeah, that happens for uh, nine times out of the ten, Dave. That happens for me too. I feel like that second third is like when the cigars start hitting their stride. Your palate's kind of warmed up to it, and that's that's when you that second third is usually. But so far, man, the first third is not bad, not bad at all. Good, great black pepper on it, and uh, like I said, that cedar and some light cream is starting to pick up on it too. Probably say finish is probably medium right now. Other than the. Uh, other than the intense pepper on a retro hill, I would say this is pretty approachable for, I would think this is pretty approachable for, for most everyone so far. Definitely, Dave, you know that Nicaraguan pepper is a must. I asked you about how you felt about not smoking a cigar all at once. Like you put it down and it goes out on you, come back hit it later or throughout the day what's your feelings on that um i mean i don't really have a uh i don't think anything is law you know um you guys know I, i'm a first responder so if i'm smoking at work we are, we're really busy so the chances of me really getting through a whole cigar in one sitting is not that common if i'm on the uh, ambulance because we're very busy but at home 
if I'm at home, like today, I'm like I'm off today. Like if I if I decide to light up a cigar, I'm going to smoke it all the way through. I feel like I don't think all the time, but I think a lot of times, like when you're constantly relighting it, it, it it's going to affect the flavors. Now, if I were to quit smoking this cigar now, purge it and come back in 30 minutes or an hour and relight it, shouldn't have an issue. Shouldn't have an issue even up to about four or five, six hours. Like I think it'd be OK. Now, if I stop smoking this cigar, even if I purge it, I come back tomorrow and it's been sitting in my sunroom. It's going to it's going to taste different. And I don't think necessarily for the better. I, I think it's going to taste it's going to taste worse. Preacher, what you think about that Cohiba? And uh, when when I know you're going to be coming out of the video here soon. Brown sugar is ramping up a little bit now, too. I haven't had I haven't had that one. I finally smoked the uh, Cohiba Connecticut the other day. Thought it was a pretty good Connecticut, but man, again, the, uh, the pricing on that stuff is just they're proud of their cigars, man. I'll tell you that. I think the Cohiba retails for eighteen or nineteen dollars, and me personally, man, like I already I'm already not a big Connecticut fan, but there's a lot of Connecticut's I prefer to smoke that are like under eight dollars, like. Uh, uh, I like that Henry Clay Warhol, the CLE Connecticut. Uh, I haven't got a chance to smoke the Aladino Connecticut yet. But Now, David, you asked me that question. Is that something that you have to do all the time? Or are you having to put down a cigar? And then I was going to honestly say, too, I recommend if you feel like you're if you're running into a. Um, if you're running into a time issue, start smoking smaller cigars, if that if that, you know, if that doesn't bother you. And I would say like. Uh, uh actual coronas or lance or maybe not lancero but like coronas or robustos or something try not to uh dabble with like a churchill or um 54 screen gauge 56 try to get you a smaller cigar Yeah, the black the brown sugar's ramped up some, still getting a lot of the same flavors. Black pepper starting to die down just a tad. It's still good. It's still at a good level, but it's it's uh it's dying down some. I'm smoking uh Victor, I'm smoking the HVC. This is the collaboration between them. That's a better picture there. That's the this is the first ever collab from HVC and cigarclub.com. And if you see Dave Ember is in the chat, he's with cigarclub.com. If you got any questions about where to purchase the cigars at and links and stuff like that, he'll be in to do that. Um, this cigar, is, uh, I mentioned it before, but you just getting in. It's a five and three quarters by 48 ring gauge, which to me is right in that perfect size. That 44 to 48 ring gauge is perfect. Flavor, just the just the wrapper to binder to filler ratio is just spot on, man. It's just you, you're getting some really good flavors on this. Cigar be at five for twenty, man, preacher. E man, what's going on, brother? I don't, I don't see the link, Dave. I haven't seen, or at least let me scroll up in the chat and make sure I didn't miss it. No, I, I don't see it, and then I, uh, I don't see. It. Let me see. See if I can find this thing. I think it's blocking us at cigarclub.com. All right, Dave, I'm, I'm going to look in real quick. Or actually, shit, uh, text it to me on my phone, and I'll just drag it and put it in the chat. That's what I'll do. I'll uh, I'll just text it to me and I'll I'll uh, copy it in the chat. Had my first HBC last week, which was the Black Friday. Great cigar, yeah. I, uh, me and me and Kar my friend Kareem did a uh, a live stream while we were smoking the Black Friday, and we actually got to smoke the Edition Special 2018 too. I like that Black Friday. I bought a whole cabinet of them. All right, let's see. 
getting ready to put this link in for y'all. All right, that link should be coming in. We have a warehouse at work, so when I have to pull parts, I'll hit my sticks. I'm a big one because I'm at work all day. Yeah, uh, that, that 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 could work. That could work. Uh, that like the way you're saying to a bigger cigar will allow you to smoke that one cigar all during the day. I I figured it, now if you get a if if you get a window where you can smoke thirty or forty minutes, I would recommend a smaller cigar like a Corona or something. You could. You can get a Corona down in 40 minutes without compromising flavor or anything like that. Carlos, what's going on, man? How you doing? If y'all check the link, let me know if that link is working for y'all too. Yeah, right now, uh, I'm going to go... I'm gonna say I'm gonna say low side of medium, full on body and flavor. I would say probably upper side of medium, and right now not really detecting any strength. I would say probably light side of medium. Kari, what's going on, bro? Yeah, that that 500 is a good cigar, and so uh, they HBC actually. Um, released information uh, last week. They're, they're coming out with the 500th anniversary and two more sizes. They're going to have, I believe the size is this. It's either a, four, a five and three fourths by 48 or maybe it's a 46. And uh, they're doing a shorts. I love that shorts. I was like a four and a half by 50 like they're doing. But I don't think that the shorts is going to be, I think that's going to be online exclusive. I think the, the four or the uh, five and three quarters and 46 or 48 is going to be the one that you'll be able to get. Yeah, that, that, that's the one. I, that's, I like that short size. That's that's perfect. Okay, good. The link is working good. Burning really good. Kind of picking up that it's like a there's a, a wood and a nuttiness on that uh on that finish. It's still I'm gonna still say medium. It's not super long right now, but it's it's a nice medium. Yeah, I'm saying cedar and cream is starting to, like when I'm not retro hailing the cedar and cream is dominating the the main the main uh main draw. There's another there's another flavor in there I'm, I can't pick out. It's not sweet or anything. It's maybe like a cocoa powder almost. I think that's what I'm, I'm starting to pick a blue cocoa now. Supreme Leaf, HBC, I'm in Chrono. What else in your top five for this year? Um, the American by J.C. Newman. Not trying to spoil it, uh, spoil anything because I still want you guys to check out the video. I think the uh, videos, but yeah, uh, the. The American by J.C. Newman is in the top five this year, too. Janice, what's going on, man? Yes, those. Uh, I got a box of those broadly selection 2018s, too. Uh, and that's another thing, too. Hey, David, how you doing? Um, As far as the uh, broadly, that's what I was going to say. So. It's not unknown. Like for me, a lot of the Maduros lately I've been smoking, I haven't been a really big fan of. I feel like a lot of people are picking up some subpar Maduro. Excuse me. Subpar broadleaf particularly because there's a shortage of it. So I feel like unless you're really in the know or you're really in the loop, you're not really getting the top quality 
um, Broadleaf. But I feel like the HBC, uh, Dunbarton's always putting out good stuff. You guys know Drew Estate puts out good broad or a good uh, man, Maduro. But a lot of these companies, man, and Maduro's, they're uh, starting to have a really gritty dirt taste, man. So I, I haven't really been enjoying a whole lot of Maduro's lately. But Corojo's, Habano's, I've had some good uh, Sumatra lately, too. Aladino's, Aladino's just releasing their Cameroon, which I'm really excited about that because I believe that's a Cameroon wrapper over a Corojo binder and filler. So looking forward to that. Yeah, Dave, it's, it's, I couldn't even pick it out. It was just really, the cocoa is really, really subtle. And it's mixing really well. It's still got the cedar. The cedar's calmed down. At first, the cedar was more sharp. It's more, the cedar's more subtle now. The cigar in the first inch has went from a lot of intensity and it's kind of just kind of calmed down it's, it's, it's you're getting more balanced now it's, it's more balanced yeah james i'm looking forward to it too hope you guys are enjoying it the uh the last final four video is doing very very well man it only came out sunday and i think it brushed over 2500 views today so i really appreciate you guys for watching and sharing and uh helping the channel grow man you guys are you guys have been detrimental, man. You guys have helped me out a whole, whole lot. But I'm uh, I'm definitely excited, sad at the same time, too, man, because that, that Cigar Man, is that's like my baby, man. So uh, it's kind of it's gone until next year. But I'm definitely going to do my part to make sure I keep you guys uh, entertained and in the loop the rest of the year. So I'm going to try to plan something really big for my one year anniversary. So September 16th of 2019 is when I officially start or I started the channel on September 1st, but I didn't do my first upload until the 16th of September. So probably planning on smoking a real big boy cigar or something like that to celebrate the uh, first year of the Ron Real channel, man. And uh, like I said, thank you guys for thank you all for being a part of it and, you know, wanting to wanting to know what I'm doing, man. <laughs> Janice, it's it's, it's going to be a, it's another dog fight. I feel like since the Elite Eight, man, it's 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 been really hard to judge these cigars, man. They all and then they they they've all most of them for the most part been performing well. It's just it's been really tight, which further lets me know I think I did a really good job picking sixteen cigars and trying to push them together against each other. You know. Yeah, everything's calm down. It's very, very balanced now. It's, it's a good cigar. Uh, yeah, David, the channel's only technically been around for eight months. Only been, only been for eight months, man. So, uh, yeah, it just, it was, it was, it's kind of crazy, you know. Uh, it, I got to fifty people fairly quick, but you guys know your first fifty are usually family members, close friends, stuff like this. So, I, you know, got there and uh got to 100 and then it kind of stalled for a little bit and then it kind of surged a little bit and then i remember right around 500 uh took me a while to get there and then i stalled for a little bit and, it, and then it seemed like when the channel got to a thousand it's kind of i don't know if it was you know youtube helping push a little bit more or not but it seemed like once it got to a thousand things kind of started being a uh, very consistent and i would say in the past two months man it's been it's been rocking it's been good No, James. Uh, I, so if you if you go back and watch my older videos, I recorded a lot of those on the iPad and you'll see the production quality is not the same as it is now. Got to uh, give a really huge shout out to Eric. Man, he's been I even texted him the other day. As you know, and I've told you guys he makes me look a lot better than what I am, man. But, uh, you know, Eric's got a really nice camera, man. We upgraded some lighting and stuff like that. And it's amazing what you're able to do with lighting and cameras and a nice mic and stuff, man. So, um no, I probably did my first six or seven videos. I think even the first video Eric did for me, we did it on the iPhone too. So maybe the first eight or nine videos, and then we went, and you'll be able to you'll be able to definitely tell the quality difference. So, emails, Eric, what's going on, brother? You doing all right, Janice? I I, I appreciate that, man, because I was going to say like, uh, and I've said that in a video before. You don't necessarily have to. It doesn't have to be a financial. Uh, you don't have to financially be helping the channel, but if you like their content, share the videos, tell people that you know that smoke cigars, help that channel, uh, help that channel grow, man. So I appreciate you guys sharing. 
Well, what's going on? I, I uh, sent you an email today too. That that package came. Everything was good, man. Thank you for that. Oh, finally got an ash. Knew that was gonna happen. Yeah, Eric, man, I've been having a lot of fun with this too, man, and uh, be be really interested to see, you know, uh, looking back in a year or two and see how the channel's growing and what's what's going on. Rob, what's going on, man? How you doing? Looking forward to y'all's show tomorrow too with John, man. I, I'll be I'll be at work, but I uh I won't be on the ambulance, so I should be able to watch that. I definitely will be tuned into to that. So uh smoking layer Robert, Caesar and Robert do smoking lead and then you have Vic the Hot Desert Man. They uh have a show. I, I, how often is that, Robert? Is it once every is it once every two weeks? They do a show called Triple Cap, where they have a uh, they invite a guest on and they do like a live stream and, and talk, man. So to, uh, tomorrow they have John Huber from Crown Heads. Frank, I've been smoking for right at five years. Uh, June June will be five years for me. Every other Friday, okay. So every once every two weeks. Performing like a champ, man. Changing again too, like kind of getting a little bit of a. Very like light caramel. You know, you guys heard me reference this before, like when I was reviewing the uh, the uh, Agnorsa signature selection. Now I know it just sounds crazy, but uh, uh, has that like low budget snicker quality, like that nuttiness, that that like caramel nougat kind of taste. There's a little bit. It's very. It's, all these flavors are nice. They're subtle, so it's just a really nice balance. But it's this is really really nice. Not up playing this either. I'm. Uh, I'll be getting a five pack of these. Janice, you're gonna really, you're gonna really enjoy those Supremes, man. I smoked one again yesterday. It's just that cigar is just very consistent and just good. It's just been very good. I haven't had any construction issues with it or anything. It's just a good cigar. Shit, Eric, I, I started in 2000. Now it feels like I've been smoking longer than five years. But but yeah, uh, I started in the summer of 2015. And I think I think me and you met each other right when I started smoking. So, yeah, we, we've been friends for about we've been friends for about five years. I know it does. It does seem longer than it, though. Hey, Robert, he, he man, John is super. You'll see when you're talking to him. Man, he's just a super chill, relaxed, just a really down to earth guy, man. You going to y'all going to have a good time. Yeah, uh, Janice. I think I think obviously with a now, I think uh, I think it's I think about by I think about by the end of the year it's gonna be by the end of the year about this time next year that's gonna be money. You guys know they're coming out with the Toro size of that too. So Eric, I mean you moved here. So I mean what? I, yeah, I mean we. I'm, uh, yeah, because I came on the fire. I came on the fire department in two thousand thirteen. And yeah, I think I went a year or two without smoking. I I was I, yeah, because I know I I know I didn't because I came on the fire department in 2013 and I didn't drink at all that first year I was on the job. I was you know being in the academy and stuff and being more into fitness. So 14, 15, so yeah, probably yeah, summer 15. Robert, I'm smoking the uh, HVC Cigar Club's custom collab they're doing. They just it just dropped today. This is the this is the first first thing on the internet of anybody smoking or experiencing this cigar. Very good cigar. It's a five and three quarters by uh by forty eight. Very good. James, what's going on, man? How you doing? Yes, Janice. All all of uh, Agonor or all of uh, HBC cigars are produced out of Tapsa. Yes, and, only, and they're all going to be Agonorson tobacco unless he does a broad like he does the Broadleaf, the uh, edition of Special 2015. Um, I think that's he, he he's done Broadleaf in, in that. He's, maybe it's another one too. But yeah, most most of his stuff are uh, Nicaraguan puros, and they're all Agonorson. Dave, so Eric is now. I don't. I don't. To me, this doesn't really taste like the Cerro. I like the Cerro too, 
But uh, Dave, you see Eric, Eric's, Eric P's comment about is that a Cero blend? You'll know for sure. But I don't. This doesn't taste like the Cero. It tastes a little different. Yeah, Robert, it's very good. I uh, the, I put the link up in the chat. You could buy five packs of of this cigar. B minor, I appreciate it, man. I'm glad you decided to come over and give me a shot, man. Really, really appreciate it. Oh yeah, can't go wrong with that discount. Appreciate that, Robert. Yeah, I'll, I'll put this link back in here too. Make sure, make sure you guys uh, for the newer people that's uh, come in. The wood is kind of crossing over from cedar to like a, a hickory a little bit, but that hickory is very faint too. This isn't a Connecticut. This is a Corojo, uh, Corojo wrapper. Uh, man, out of the HVC portfolio, man. It's kind of weird because it. I'm trying to think. It doesn't. It, the Cerro to me is a little bit more creamier. And I've only had the Cerro and the Robusto and the uh, 46 ring gauge, the smaller one. But it's more creamier, and then the 500 smokes different than this too. I, I guess it's, but it kind of it could be like maybe a hybrid, a hybrid between the Cerro and the 500. Maybe like if you picked a cigar and it was supposed to be like right in between it, like this would that's what it kind of reminds me of. Yeah, it's uh, it's not the it's not super dark, but I think it's darker than the uh, darker than the Connecticut. I see the ash still been good on that thing. Burn lines, money. I said that that 48 ring gauge, man, money. Dave, see, I haven't, I gotta have, I haven't smoked a Serie A yet. So that'll be uh I'll get I'll get one of those soon. I'm gonna smoke a Serie A. That's one of the few cigars by HBC I haven't had. No, Woods, I haven't I haven't tried. I've seen I've seen pictures of that one, but I haven't smoked that one yet. 520 La Rosa is fantastic. I uh, and then you guys know I'm not even really a huge big ring gauge guy. Uh, they have they have it in at 46, but I have it at I have it in the Magico, the 54 ring gauge, and it's really good. Oh man, Dave, you know I like lighters, man. All right, Eric, that's cool. I say you know I I'll, I'll give you try. To, I think I got some stuff you might not have tried. You know you smoke a lot more cigars than me. Still going to go uh, low side of medium to full on body, low side of medium to full on flavors and strength. I would say medium, not not a not a super strong cigar. I feel like this is pretty approachable for everybody. Yeah, Eric, I think I got I think I, I was looking the other day. I think I got four or five bottles, but you already know whenever whenever you're ready, man, I'll, I'll get those beers to you. Robert, I can't smoke nothing that big, man. I I can't go over a sixty. I just I can't do it. And and I don't even smoke a lot of sixties. But I I mean, if enough credible people are saying that it's pretty good, most of the time if I'm gonna smoke a sixty, it's gonna be a Figurado that has a sixty somewhere in the ring gauge, or uh, if it's gonna be a box press, a regular Parejo or a regular round. Like I don't smoke that many sixties. Man, Janice, I got a, uh, I got a cabinet of, I got a cabinet of Ramon Alona, especially selected that are, they're still young though. I smoked one the other day. It's, it's okay, but it's gonna need some time. Yeah, Robert, same way, man. I just, it's just, it's just the man part in me. Like I just can't smoke. I don't want nothing that big in, in my mouth, man. Pause. Finish has gotten slightly longer. I'm gonna say the finish is on the longer side of medium. Still picking up that cocoa on it. Still, come, that cocoa's come back. Still very subtle.
Uh, what I do like and what I like about uh, HVC cigars too are just nice, good cigar. Like Placencia is really good with it too. Uh, when you get a cigar when you're smoking, it has a really nice, clean finish to it. Not a not a <clears throat> not an off-putting taste when you on the finish. It's very clean, good flavors, good clean finish. <laughs> yeah uh for the most part smaller ring gauges will concentrate well so you're gonna get flavors out of the you're gonna i mean all the all the components of the cigar are important you know uh good long filler a good binder but um uh, the smaller ring gauge allows whatever wrapper you're it, and, that, and it has to just be blended well that smaller ring gauge is going to going to give you more concentration of the wrapper. So if I had this cigar blended in the 60 or 64 or something huge, it's going to smoke a lot different. A lot of people like bigger cigars because they feel like they're getting more bang for their buck. They get a small uh, or they assume that they get a longer smoking time, but that still depends on blends, too, because I've had cigars that were this size that smoked close to two hours. I've had bigger cigars that smoked faster. It just depends on the blend. Lijero is really important in some blends because everybody or not everybody, but a lot of people know that Lijero burns slower. So I know like Illusion has a, a I think it's the Epernay that they don't have any Lijero at all, which is impressive because the cigar still burns at a pretty good uh, burn time. But it just all depends. But yes, for the most part, your smaller ring gauges are going to concentrate your flavors more. But the blend is the blend is really crucial too. King Rooney, really, what's going on, player? Really nice retro hell on this. Yeah, the pepper, the first inch of that thing, that pepper was really intense. I like I like pepper though, but it's it's gonna be Mom, what's going on, man? How you doing? A 21 by 100. I'm just gonna even I'm just gonna Google that and just look at that. What's the price on that thing for one? And who makes it? Oh, the Woody, you talking about the uh the cigar that Oscar makes it? Isn't it the one Oscar makes? Yes, I, I I like that. That Epernay is good too, and uh, that's uh, uh, Dion Giolito over at uh, Luzion. He works with Agonorsa too. Still got to try me at Atabay, man. Price has kind of been running me away. Crescent City, what's going on, man? Good day to you too, man. You're staying safe out there. Yep, really nice hickory. Hickory's come on it too. Really nice. I like that hickory flavor. You're getting a nuttiness on that finish too. It's not like a peanut or anything. It's like it's more like I was saying the more in the almond family. <laughs> Janice, what's as man? What's the is that a pretty good price for those? Fifty dollars for this cigar, man. Oh, my call, uh, my call. Stay tuned, man. I, I'm doing that summer showdown where I'm doing eight cigars and all of them will be uh, MSRP for under ten dollars, ten dollars and under. Oh, that ain't too bad. Then it's pretty good. Pretty good deal on it. The strength is creeping up, but it's not bad. I would say it's 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 still in the medium range, but it's, st it's slowly starting to get to that medium to full. I can just in the past probably two or three minutes, I can feel the strength kind of slowly creeping up. Still not bad. Still not or still uh, not unappro unapproachable. Got a good aroma to this one too. 
Got my uh rabbit air unit. Let's see if I can pick this up and show it. I don't even think I've shown anybody my uh, rabbit air unit so far. So this is that's my rabbit air over there. It just sits there. It's running on high right now, but it's it's pretty quiet. I've had it now for probably uh, two weeks, and so far, pretty satisfied. Pretty satisfied with it. All right, we'll take this first band off so you guys will see the uh, how well it's going to show up. Cigar Club Band. Leon, hey, this is this is pretty good, man. I, I'm gonna be ordering the five pack too. I've had some Byron's. I like Byron. I do like Byron cigars, even which is crazy. I think uh, Davidoff deals with them, but I, I like Byron's a little bit more than the uh, regular Davidoff line. Uh, cigar that I thought too was too strong for me. Um, that doesn't happen too often. The last cigar I had that like made me put it down was the uh, Espinosa Warhead Five. The Labumba Warhead, that one was pretty intense. It got really intense in that back third. I, like I had, I, I don't think I had anything to eat and eat on my stomach or anything. I feel like if I got something on my stomach, I could pretty much smoke anything. Man, Robert, if y'all get that cigar, you already know I'm gonna be tuned in on that review. That's gonna be an hour long edited thing. Y'all gonna be smoking that forever. Now, um, kind of picking up on that, that faint sweet tobacco core. It's like a, it's, it's not overly sweet, but you can tell it's, it's done. It's, it's gotten sweeter than the first part. It's, a, a, it's just, all I can, it's just a very nice sweet tobacco core. But when I say sweet, don't, don't get it misunderstood. It's not like sweet, like a baking bakery or like honey buns or candy. And then it's just like a good, good tobacco sweet. Yeah, I, I do think the Jacob's Ladder is strong. I've had it in the Lancer on the Brimstone. Uh, and when I mean it's strong, I think it's strong for probably the average person. Again, like if I got a big meal on me or something like that, it's not. I, I, and then even smoking that Labumba, like I had broken to a little bit of a sweat, but that I usually, I'm usually pretty good with cigars. I, only time I run into problems is if I'm back to back in some cigars or something and don't have a lot, a lot in my stomach or something like that, you know, that's, that's when I run into an issue. Rolling cigars, um, not not as a particularly like a main thing, but I know like with me wanting to be a blender, like I would I would have to learn learn how to roll cigars. So I know like in the back of my head, like I'd have to learn how to roll cigars if I want to be a blender. Yeah, uh, that's Janice. That's another. I, yeah, if you're not used to those padrones, they can they can get a little intense in that back third too, and then. Uh, what most people are doing, what most people do, they smoke too fast. You make sure you're taking your time, enjoying the flavors, not overheating that cherry too much. But most people I see, they just smoke and then they'll burn through Padron or something too, and then they don't feel good. It's like, man, you smoke that cigar in 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Like it's meant to be an hour and a half, two hours, two hour long cigar. Yeah, Pete, I've heard, sto I've heard people, stories of people getting really sick. On the uh, on that Jacob's ladder, Logan, what's going on? Construction still been dynamite on this thing. Ash has been holding nice. Burn line's been good. Construction's on point. For y'all, if, if you haven't come in, I got another one over here. It has that. It has a nice closed foot on the end. Five and three fourths by forty eight. Very good. Good, good, clean, clean flavors, man. Yeah, Leon, I used to be a member of their uh, Ezra Zion Cigar of the Month Club, man. But um, and I joined it because I smoked that sawed off shotgun. and I was really impressed with that cigar. And I feel kind of like a junkie that gets on a high and they want and people wonder why the junkie's always on drugs because he's searching for that high. So. I smoked through quite a few Ezra blends since then, trying to find something that was as good as that um, 
sawed off shotgun and just haven't and really haven't been too pleased with a lot of their cigars lately. So I, I ended up canceling the membership there. But um, that's that's not a knock on them, man. It's just for my palate. It's not I haven't really been that impressed enough to, to stay consistent with the, the uh, cigar of the month. Club. That's that's my personal opinion, though. Mom, mom, which house blends? Lefty was good. Yeah, and yeah, and and, and right before I reviewed that cigar, C, uh, Caesar and Robert on Smoking Lead reviewed that cigar. That cigar was fantastic. And then all the other cigars I smoked, I'm like, these aren't these. This isn't the same quality, man. This isn't as good. Uh, I'm not, I'm not a really big. I'm not a I'm not an infused cigar smoker. Again. That's just me personally. I don't have anything against people that smoke infused cigars or just like I don't have uh, anything against people that smoke cigarillos or uh, big green gauges like everybody has their own preferences. I'm not I'm not a big uh, infused guy. The last infused cigar I've never been any. I've never even been able to finish any. The only uh, infused cigar I've been able to finish was the uh, acid 20th anniversary. and It was a small Robusto. It wasn't a bad cigar. It was one of those cigars that somebody gave it to me. I'd smoke it, but like that's nothing I'm finna. That's nothing I'm not finna go out and buy. Oh, okay, mom. No, I, I haven't had anything from them. Robert, what's going on? At least the ash ain't falling on me. Uh, I'm picking up a braiding, uh, like a braiding this quality on this now too. Still getting that. Still got a nice cocoa powder in there. like a faint cinnamon cinnamon bread I'm gonna still stick to where I'm at now medium me low side of medium to full for body and flavor upper side of medium on strength hey Rob what's going on man Arnold what's going on uh not really anymore when i was really like in the first two or three years i smoked a lot of tatuaje uh the only tatuajes i really like buy all the time now are the uh the black label i'm still really i'm still really big on the petite lancero black label and the casual those are those are fantastic cigars uh i've smoked a couple of mexican experiment twos in the past couple months they were they were average cigars to me they weren't bad Yes, those stems can definitely create that nicotine jump. Definitely changed. Definitely changed. Yeah, I still feel like this is good. I still feel like this is very approachable for anybody. Like I haven't had any. I haven't run across anything yet that makes me think that this is unapproachable. All right, Robert, man, uh, appreciate you stopping in. I, like I said, I'll be in I'll be in the chat Friday watching you guys with John, man. I'm looking forward to that show. <laughs> I, I I got a lot. I guess a lot of I, I miss there's and I don't there's some that's not in here right now, but there's a couple guys in Spirited Smoke I, I really rock with. Appreciate that lift. Yeah, man. Y'all like hit that like button and share it, man. If y'all uh you know if you want to hit the dislike too, whatever you want to hit. Appreciate that, Leon. Yeah, when, whenever you get them in and you guys are smoking them. If you guys are following me on Instagram or whatever, man, tag me if you're smoking cigars or tag me if you're smoking this stuff and let me know what you guys are thinking. Uh, hey, Rod, are you talking about the uh, uh, Unstolen Valor? I'm sure at some point I'll I'm sure at some point I'll try that cigar. 
Good morning and coffee cigar. Uh, depends. What do you like to smoke? Are you a Connecticut guy? Are you more like me? You more medium to full? It uh, it depends. What you what you like smoking? Let me know some things you like to smoke. I could probably gauge. If you're a Connecticut guy, uh, that that CLE Connecticut is a favorite of mine in the morning time. Bits of uh, yeah, I, I've heard I've seen heard of that one too. So uh, Supper Mace is good too. Speaking of infused cigars. They, uh, Steve doesn't claim it is infused, but I, I've smoked enough of them. I think the cigar is infused. The uh, Sober Mesa Brulee is really good. Or it's not infused. It has a sweetened tip. Sorry. Correction. I don't think it's infused. It has a sweetened tip. Uh, James Bolt, or so like when I'm when I'm picking up pepper in a retro hill, that's me tasting it. But most of the time that, it, that intensity, that intensity of that black pepper is there too. That's what's, that's what's making it intense, that black pepper. That's a uh, Really, uh, that's very Nicaraguan, especially in Piro's. You get a lot of that black pepper. Uh, Garrett, I'm sure some people, I, I mean, I'm not a member there. I don't know but much about it, but Pravada is a, uh, 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 one of the, one of the many cigar clubs out there that a lot of people, uh, you know, there's probably a, th a thousand cigar clubs, but Pravada is a cigar club. I got a lot of friends that smoke to, uh, to Beck's. That's another good one too, David. That Rocky Patel Vintage 1999 is, is pretty good. That's one of the Rockies I do like. Hey, man, it's all good, man. Just kind of came up. Me and Dave were talking about it for a couple days, trying to figure out schedules and stuff like that. So um, instead of doing a, re a review like normal with all the B-roll and editing and stuff, we just decided to go up live to uh, because they just released their uh, – collaboration they deal with hbc today so you're looking at it firsthand the first person that has smoked the cigar other than dave but i'm glad to have you man i know you at work man taking care of and trying to keep food on the table uh, yeah uh all the ones i've had taste sweet some of them are more intense than others now, what Steve says when he said he doesn't think he wasn't answering about the sweetened tip, but what he did say is I think the cigars are rolled on the same table that some of the uh, infused cigars or stuff like that are rolled on. So maybe it's picking up some of the flavor from that table. But I, when you smoke a lot of cigars, you can just tell when something's sweetened, man. Like that's that's not nat that's not a natural sweetness from tobacco. But at the same time, I don't think that's a bad thing because the sweetened tip kind of gives you more of that light caramel coffee note, which kind of goes hand in hand with the name brulee. You think of brulee, you think of a sweetened coffee drink. So it, when you smoke them, it, 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 and it pairs well with coffee. So I don't, I'm not knocking them on that. I just I think the tip is sweetened, though. Just my opinion. Construction still been good. Yeah, um, I, I don't know much about maybe the hats, but definitely the shirts. Like I'm, I'm looking on some websites now, and uh, probably end up using Teespring to uh, to to release some shirts. Yeah, yeah, I, I can see that, David. That tricky trocker is pretty good. I do like that one. You're getting a nice cedar wood taste on it. Cocoa's kind of died off a little bit. Still picking up some nuttiness on that finish. Matthew, this has been a this is a good cigar. It's been this has been really good. I'm a, I'm right at an hour of smoking time. Probably got about another 15, 20 minutes. So good good smoke time on this, especially on the size of five and three quarters by 48 ring gauge. Really good size on this. Been, been enjoyable from start to finish. No off-putting flavors, no bad finish, no bad taste in my mouth. And that's what I like about the, uh, that's what I like about Lorenzo and what he blends to. He blends for flavor and clean taste, good construction. Everything's very consistent. And I think with him being as small as he is, putting out around 200,000 cigars a year, 
that that quality control is really there. It's on point. Smoke output has been very good from the start. Able to regulate smoke it with ease, not having to take any hard draws. Yeah, Robert, you got, yeah, that's one for sure. Uh, you got Provada Cigar Club, you got cigarclub.com, you got Small Badge. Uh, there's there's a couple of luxury cigar clubs. I think you got, you got quite a few cigar clubs out there that have really, really big followings. Not a, uh, Janice, I'm not a fan. I actually was telling, uh, I was talking to a guy on Instagram today. He was talking about the Maduro. It's a, uh, I believe it's an experiment they were doing. It's a Corojo shade grown Maduro hybrid. And I'm not a fan of it. I don't like it. Um, I don't like any of the night watches and I love all the regular guardian of the farms. And as much as you guys know, I like the signature selection. I'm not a fan of the Maduro line, which they both use that, that same hybrid uh, Corojo shade grown. Yeah, that GR88 is a good cigar. That, that good to sweet tobacco core is kind of back now. It's not like cocoa or anything, but it's just a good, good, nice, natural tobacco sweetness. Yeah, I, uh, Jan, I've had some burn issues, not with not with the signature selection as much, but with the uh, night watch. I do remember having to touch that cigar more than I like. What do you think about the flavors? Were you a fan of the are you a fan of the night watch flavors or the uh, signature selection Maduro flavors? I just I'm that rappers. I don't I'm not a fan of that rapper. Yeah, Lefty, I, I actually reviewed I actually reviewed the um I actually reviewed the uh Andalusian Bull. The the footage is not out yet. I did a pairing with a, a scotch from the 80s. Uh the Andalusian Bull is just an average cigar to me. I I mean I smoked a couple before one cigar of the year, and I thought I think the blend, personally, I think the blend has changed. I like I like the cigar at first, and then when I smoked them again, it just was really, it's too mild. It was mild for me. Not very complex. I agree, Janice. The, the, nat, the regular Guardian of the Farms and the regular Corojo Signature Selection, they're in a completely different ballpark. As you guys see, man, it's... it's Good smoke on this. Yeah, it's been been nice. Let's see what we got. Uh, strength has crept up a little bit more too. Not, not as I say on the low side of medium to full. Most overrated cigar. Oh uh, man. Uh, kind of hard, man. It's a quite a few cigars I think that are overrated. Uh, and even when I say something that's overrated, I don't mean it's a bad cigar. I just think I don't, I don't, I don't get the hype around it. Uh, a lot of Davidoffs, not all of them, but there's some Davidoffs. Uh, I like some Opus X, but I feel like as a whole, the line is overrated. Um, uh, oh, James, you knew I was going to say it. Uh, trying to think. Some other cigars. What's some other guy? What's some other? Y'all name some cigars you think people talk about a lot. I'll let you know if I think it's overrated or not. Yeah, I know some people that like the Night Watch. I just, I, but I think it, that's why I was saying again, a lot of Maduros just haven't been hitting me right. I just, and that hybrid that they got, it just, it just didn't do it for me. Yeah, my car, I'm, I, I plan on doing a lot of, uh, I plan on doing quite a few shirts. I'm going to have the regular shirt with my regular logo. I have that saying on one of them. I have back with another banger as a shirt. Gurkha, I, but I don't even. But David, even with Gurkha, I don't even know if I would say they're overrated because I think for I think the consensus most people think Gurkha shit sticks. So 
But uh, yeah, I don't I don't think they're good. I don't. There's only two or three that I even think are smokable, in my opinion. Uh, Janice, if you're talking about the, uh, I like the uh, Bellicoso Triple X. That's actually my favorite opus, the little Bellicoso, and I like the uh, Super Bellicoso. I've never had a Purple Rain, but from everybody I trust and talk to, they say the Yeho line, which I like, is, is just as good. Y'all dog and Gurkha, boy. I do, yeah, that stuff's all overpriced, so let's see what we got. Now I'm not gonna be up here too much longer. I'm gonna get. I'm probably gonna be up here maybe another five or ten minutes. I'm gonna head out. I got my. I got my points already set up. Yeah, David. A lot of people like uh, Kareem. That's Kareem, my friend that uh, you guys saw on the show with me uh, or on the live stream last week. He's a, that's his favorite cigar. Hey, Vintage, you wouldn't have a problem, man. People love them Opus X. They got that's got a cold following. Robert, I, I don't have any Gurkhas in the humidor, man. I don't keep any on me. But anybody in the chat, Robert said, if y'all got Gurkhas, give them to him. That's another good one I forgot about too, David. That uh, Antonio Connecticut is very good. All right. So I gave the flavor a 17 out of 20. Pretty good flavors on this one. The draw is a 20 out of 20. Burns a 20 out of 20. Both of those have been perfect, you guys. have seen. I haven't had to relight. No touch-ups. Complexity, I gave a 17. Feel like there was enough in there going on to keep you interested. It's not going to be the most complex cigar, but it's definitely complex. Good transitions. Some good sweetness in there that goes away. Got a little, nice little pepper in there. You got, you're getting some wood. Got a little hickory flashes in there. Good, good complexity on it. And gave the strength a 17 out of 20. Not beating me over the head, but in the definitely since I took the first band off and I'm coming through, like the, the strength has been a, a very nice gradual increase. Overall score is going to be a 91 out of 100. I'm stamping and approving this one. I think you guys should check it out. I think y'all will enjoy this one, especially if you've had any experience with uh, HVC cigars. I'm putting this link down here one more time for you guys. It's coming in. They're selling five packs over there. They did a run of 1,500. If you're a member of Cigar Club, it, it's a chance that that cigar will be in your box. If not, you got the link right there. They sell them in five packs. It's just released today. No, Coca, I'm not saying that. There are some mild cigars I do think that are good. My preference is more towards medium to full, full body. But I dare, like I said, the CLE Connecticut is good. Henry Clay Warhog. There's a lot of cigars that aren't necessarily strong. I smoked some Cubans that aren't strong. I think those are great cigars, too. <laughs> hey man, it, that you you know yourself better than anybody. So my only thing is, if you're gonna get if you're gonna get into cigars, you pr just be prepared to outgrow that hundred count because most people in here that'll tell you they got experience. Um, the humidors they have the rating on there. So if it, if you have a desktop humidor and it's rated at a hundred count, it's probably gonna really because they're looking at it like if you got you probably can put a hundred Coronas in there or something smaller, but if you like Toros or 54s or 56, you're not going to get 100 cigars in there. You're going to outgrow that thing quick. Uh, Matthew, I don't really have any experience with Atlanta cigar, Atlantic Cigar Company. David, the, uh, you can look on my page, and I have a pre the premiere set up. The uh, championship match will be Saturday at 6 o'clock Central Standard Time. So if you're on the East Coast, that'll be uh, 7 o'clock at night. And Pacific time, I don't know all this, so y'all gonna have to adjust your time accordingly. Yeah, yeah. If you if you're gonna get into cigars, you gonna you gonna outgrow that quick. I haven't. I don't think I've had that one, Dave. Even if you outgrow it, 
Yeah, I, I still I still got a desktop human or a, a bigger desktop human door. It's empty right now, but it holds about um it's rated for 250. I probably could get 200 in there, probably closer to 200. Yeah, Dave, you got to wait and see, man. All right. Well, I'm going to sit back and enjoy the rest of this cigar. HVC. So light from my room, but this is this is the whole cigar when it's not smoked. Got the nice closed foot on there. Nice triple cap. Very classic Cuban size, Cuban style. Very good. Complex, good flavors. Very nice, clean finish. Highly recommend it. You guys see the link in there. So if you are interested, give it a shout. And like I said, if you guys are following me on Facebook or Instagram and you're smoking and y'all enjoying it, y'all let me know what you think. All right, James. Peace, man. I'm going to catch y'all on the flip side. Yeah, uh, me and Lee Mac got a we, me and Lee Mac have a video coming out Monday, so you be stay tuned for that. I got we're doing a two part. Part one will be on uh, on my channel, and then part two will be on his. So, yeah, I'm, I mean this I'm at a, this this probably honestly is gonna be around an hour twenty smoke, depending on how fast or slow you smoke. I smoke probably I'd say I probably smoke medium. I don't smoke fast or super slow. So. Man, y'all take care. Appreciate you guys for pulling in. Dave, thank you for the cigar, man. You guys head over there. Check out what he's got going. They got a lot of good collaborations coming this year. Uh, Algo uh, Sincero, or uh, Dave, correct me on that name. Y'all did that one, too. That's a that's a very good morning cigar, too, with the Desla, uh, Desflorado wrapper. That was a really good cigar. So y'all have a good day, man, and... Uh, it's uh, Thursday, so I probably will catch y'all Saturday, man. I'll see y'all Saturday, uh, 6 o'clock Central Standard Time. Y'all be there at the championship game. Beat me there. Y'all take care.